Good morning and welcome to West Monmouthshire. As soon as I saw the forecast yesterday, I cancelled my plans and made new ones. That's why I'm here. Today is spot the cloud in the sky. Now, there's a bit of breeze around just to keep my score honest. So it isn't going to be no pushover, especially as the members keep harassing me to go off the whites and they're quite right. I should go off the whites, so I am. Well, here we go on the first. A little dog leg to the right. It's only a short eat, so I'm hitting three wood. And that was as poor a strike as I could possibly imagine. But it's turned out okay. The only thing wrong with this is my one foot is stood on a lump. And it's kind of in my mind instead of the ball. So we knife it right through the back, and I do mean right through the back. Okay, if we start with a bogey, that's not a problem. Chip it down, roll it down the step. Five and a bit feet. Looks like we're gonna be able to play our get out of jail free card on the first hole. And bang, here we go. Second hole, par three, can only just see the top of the flag. I'm figuring a six iron back into this wind. And you can figure again. It's absolutely sailed through it, off the back. Failed to record the chip. I'm having trouble with the camera at the moment. But another save. Well, every time I play here, the wind direction is different. Just for a change, this is downwind. I'm quite surprised how far up the hill I got with a little draw. Hybrid, because I want to lay back from the green, not take any risks. And this was the first moment I realised I was in trouble, because that hybrid went 230 yards, even though I was on an upslope. Anyway, let's pitch it on. And on we go. and uh, every chance of a bird. Well, perhaps not. Absolutely hammered that one. We get the one back, we started with three pars, no complaints. There's a new tee being built on the fourth, so we're still on a mat for another couple of weeks. So short par four, back into the breeze. And that's a beauty. Leaves me about 40 odd yards. It's going to play a chip and run with the pitching wedge. Yeah, he's rather pleased about that, isn't he? Wait for the incoming golf ball. That shook me up a bit. It always does when a ball lands beside you and you don't see it coming. And of course I've mugged up the camera again. I haven't even got the hole in shot. But this little putt has got one hell of a turn on it. And of course I miss it. We go on to the fifth and I'm still a bit shook up and still thinking about how close that ball was when well, I should be thinking about the drive. Down the wind I ought to be taking this hole apart and I've shoved it into the rough. Not good and it is not sat very nice either. There's a big tuft just in front of the ball which alters the ball flight considerably and how far it goes considerably but this is okay this is right in my wheelhouse it's a little chip and run with the pitching wedge and it just didn't stop this is becoming hard work and we record our first bogey par three 
flag is front right. I'm trying to keep the flight down with a 5 iron, hit a little fade into the flag, but the right to left wind is so strong, I'm not even on the damn green. This is going to be entertaining. Back into the wind, I just can't reach, so there's no real point in trying. The best thing I can do is get this in the fairway and leave myself about 40 or 50 yards and try my best from there. Right, just beside the seventh green here. Had a very fast single coming up behind, so I've let him through. There's another fast single, so I'm gonna let him through as well. Because as you know, when I got the camera, I'm the least important person on the golf course. These flag positions are fun, aren't they? You really, really gotta use the imagination to work them out. But you see how easy it is to make bogeys in a wind like this. How quickly the score disappears. Still, we've got a drive all par four next. Let's see what I can do with it. Well, on second thoughts, I don't think it's drive all today, even if I hit my very best. And that is some considerable distance away from my very best. It's not done too badly for me. Just a sand wedge pitch. This is something that I am trying to improve at the moment. Um, work still needed. Unfortunately, chipping and running and tidying up is one of the things that I can do. Now I spent some time on Google Earth looking at this hole and measuring stuff. As you can see, I'm aiming a long way right because it's downwind. And I'm a little angry over that pitch. So we bite off a very large chunk. I can't see the green, so I've had to walk forward. I reckon this is a five iron. Well, I was wrong, because I'm through the back and into some very, very heavy stuff. Yeah, it's that heavy. I didn't even get it halfway to the hole. But I'm still on the green in three, so it's going to be a par if I miss my bird. So, you know, par ain't bad. In fact, I've gone out in three over, which in this wind is quite respectable. Last of the nine done. Few opportunities missed. Well, that's golf, isn't it? Some days you're always fighting for par rather than having birdie putts. The way I'm striking my irons, there's no birdie putts. I tell you what, the members here are fantastic. I've been waved at, shouted at all the way around so far, and uh, some guys here just starting out on uh, seven. They've dashed across, they give me a sweetie. So five wood for the 10th. Wind is hard left to right. I'm going to try and hit a draw into it. Um, that is not a draw. That is miles from the green. And this took some finding. Wish me luck.
that was my first disaster and when you're playing in a three club wind like this then you're always going to get a few disasters I didn't like the look of that one but at least I hit that one decent so we're back on the hole we're back in with a chance in fact it's, the wind is so strong now I'm trying to pitch with a pitching wedge and I still come up short yeah this is hard look at that flag going this is beyond my pay grade even though I'm gonna knock in a par this is proving exceptionally difficult and me I've said it before I'm no wind player Well, I honestly don't know what to hit here, or even where to aim. The wind is that strong now, I am completely confused. I was expecting the wind to shove that to the right, and it just didn't. When you see the flag going like that, you think, why didn't it shove the ball to the right? However, we're back on the pars. So that's two pars. So that triple is forgotten. We got a 13. This is 90 yards longer than off the yellow tees. That's right. Not that you can see the fairway. I've had to drop out the thick stuff, so this is my third shot. It was unplayable. So I had to take two sideways. Now I'm expecting this to, to slice a bit, fade a bit. And it just didn't. Well, for whatever reason, the golfing gods have decided to give me a straight drive. 137, into the wind, downhill, hard ground. I mean, what club do you take? Well, obviously not the 8 iron, because it's only just crept on. Put it on down, never on line but close enough for the par and that's all that matters really isn't it the card and pencil doesn't care how you get your par right left to right wind let's see if I can keep it to the left well that's not left say bye bye ah well, you didn't see the rest of 15 because I never found it. It's so far up there. And uh, I wasn't going to hit another ball. The trouble with the left to right wind is I start aiming further and further left and hitting bigger and bigger slices. So, uh, as I say, if you want to come up here, look at the forecast. And you're looking for very low single digits mile an hour wind speed for Ebervale. Yeah, it's hard work. I am so tired. I've spent so much time today marching up and down the rough and dragging this camera around. You do a lot of walking with a camera. Anyway, three to go. Gonna sit here and enjoy the view for a little bit. I mean, why not? It's the best part of my game today is enjoying the view. 
yet again the camera lets me down I hit three wood just off the back of the green there and then I misread the chip so we're left with about eight feet for the par and we get it so I'm quite pleased about that now on the 17 now from the white tee you can hardly see much of the green especially when you're as short as me I'm aiming a little left because I figure the wind's going to push it back to the right and it didn't so I've landed on the top of the mound in the gorse I did find the ball completely unplayable and disgusted I head for the 18th tee where hopefully we'll finish with a par cheerio before I go I think it's incredibly important that I show you the days when I can't hit my hat whether it's uh, wind related or not honesty is everything on YouTube